What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Get Jabby. I'm Achara Kirk, joined by Steph Sabra. Hey. And we are carrying on with Daredevil Season 1. This time we're on Episode 11. This is called The Path of the Righteous. Ooh. You guys, if you want to watch the entire episode along with us without any cuts or interruptions, you can do that by joining our Patreon, patreon.com slash or by becoming a member here on the channel. You will need your own Disney Plus subscription in order to watch along with us, but it's super easy to do that. Also, if you're watching on YouTube and you haven't already, please subscribe, click that bell icon for all notifications and upvote this video so YouTube knows what, that you're enjoying what we're watching. All right, let's carry on with it. Let's get a gurney out here. What happened? She drank something. What did she ingest? Did you to be specific? I have no idea. It was at the Van Lump building, the benefit. There were others. I, I had a glass in my hand. Uh, do I need to be checked out? No, you're clearly fine. I can't have you in there, sir. Don't you know who I am? Fill out the paperwork. We'll update you on her condition as soon as we know anything. Yeah, that doesn't work here. Can you let them do their job? Isn't that always the case, though? Yeah. Like, people... I understand. I get it, too. Yeah, you you just want to be close to the person that you care about. Yeah. But also, it's like, yeah, you need to yeah. get out of the way. What the hell is going on? Oh, my God. Are we going to sue? We should sue. <laughs> you know, whoever hits you, we should go after him and... Uh... That's all right. He's dead. Yeah. It was my fault. I uh, should have been more careful. Does this have anything to do with Fisk? With you're going to see that Vanessa woman? I told you it was my fault. Let's just leave it at that, okay? Definitely not okay. I found something. It's probably why Fisk didn't get it sucked into a black hole. What was it? A marriage certificate for his mother. How does that help? Because it's not to his father. It's for when she remarried. She's still alive? Yeah. Just living in a care facility upstate. Now, Ben and I took a drive. Oh, here. Karen, Karen. You should have talked to me or Foggy before you ran off like that. I tried, but you weren't picking up. Hmm. Fair point, Karen. Yep. Matt, what she said about Fisk. He killed his father, bashed his head in with a hammer, and then she helped him cover it up. He was a minor. It's not gonna be enough. It might be enough to at least get people looking at him more closely. From an old woman who's not all there. Did you speak to him, to Foggy? Not since yesterday on the phone when I guess he was covering for whatever it is you're not telling me. Go, go to the office and, and wait for him. Tell him what you found and... Karen. Maybe you should take your own advice. I, I cut you up. Karen, please. <sighs> oh, oh. You're not <gasps> in the woods. Grunts don't count as words, Foggy Bear. Please don't call me that. Fog. <laughs> you going to work or what? Not today. Maybe never, not with Matt. You two have been friends as long as I've known you. Whatever's going on between the two of you. <laughs> I don't really care. I'm not gonna get sucked into the drama. Oh my goodness, Foggy. <laughs> oh my god, Foggy. Are I you... thought the apartment looked a little bit too nice to be his. I'm shook, Foggy. <laughs> you know. Wow, must have been a real rough night. Yeah, real rough. Speak with Gao. If she wasn't involved, we might need her support against further Unpleasantries. And if she was involved, then it's been an honor doing business with you. Oh, you okay? <laughs> okay. You talking about the stitches? Claire's back. Woohoo. You really need to ease up or I'll be stitching a corpse next time around. You really should get some kind of body armor. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When Fisk came at me in the warehouse, I sliced his jacket open. You cut him? He was wearing some kind of armor. Like nothing I've ever come across before. That's what you get when you have all the money in the world. Hey, you want a drink or something? I don't want a drink. Second woman today has turned me down. Yeah. Got a revolving door, do you? Mm. That's not... I didn't mean it. Forget it. That was really stupid comment, Matt. <laughs> you about the benefit the other night at the old Van Lott building? Mm. Fisk raising money for his better tomorrow? Yeah, a bunch of one percenters jerking each other off. <laughs> With something in the drinks. Maybe even a couple fatalities. Why isn't this all over the news? They're spinning it, I guess. Which means he's got a lot of pull in the media. If this is true, why would someone attack a benefit? Fisk made himself public. You think someone's trying to kill Fisk? I've been writing about crime in the city since before you were born. The only thing I know without a doubt is you don't get to be the man at the top without making enemies looking to tear you down to the ground. Yeah, just let it all fall apart from the inside. Leland thinks... It might have been Nobu's men. You need to find who did this. I want to look in their eyes when I salt the earth with their blood. 
Jesus. I told her the safest place she could ever be was by my side. This wasn't you. No, she's lying in there because she was by my side. Yeah, I mean, that's True. the risk you take when you date someone like you. You know what I do? Who I am? She's like, yeah, you need a costume. <laughs> Sacrament of penance, like I told you. Don't have to worry. It's not what I'm asking. Yes, Matthew, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> I love him. Maybe you're being called to summon the better angels of your nature. And how do you know the angels and the devil inside me aren't the same thing? Nothing drives people to the church faster than the thought of the devil snapping at their heels. Maybe that was God's plan all along. Why he created him. Allowed him to fall from grace. To tread the path of the righteous. I mean, if you think that he has a greater plan and he made everything, he made them too. Yeah, that was really brutal. Really brutal. Oh, this guy. He's out again? I want information. What do I look like? Public damn library. <laughs> What do you want to know, man? Shit. Fisk wears some kind of body armor. Light. Strong. Where's he get it? The hell should I know? Then you know you're still Wait! Wait! Body armor! Yeah! 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 I think I might... I think I might know a guy. Mm -hmm. He needs to get back to business while there's still business to get back to. He will. When? When he deems it appropriate. Well, doesn't that just fill me with confidence? If they came after him once, they'll come after him again. Go home. Get some rest. We'll call if you're needed. It's not like I have anything better to do. Go travel. <laughs> Get on a beach. Hello, Marlene? No, I, I work with your son. We've met before. Was there something I could help you with? Oh, is she gonna tell him about a nice young lady? Who came to visit you? Ah! I mean, he was right. How did they think they could visit and talk to her without them finding out? Yeah. You work for Fisk. I asked you a question. Whoa. Here we go. Ay. Dang. You shouldn't be here. I mean, ooh, his cuts. I know. So silly. Could you have waited, brother? That wasn't very nice. Oh, Jesus. That wasn't very nice. Oh. Dude. Listen, I want to hire your services. Help me make a suit. Did you make a suit lined with this? You made a whole bunch. Can you make something for me? You want you want a suit like, like Mr. Fisk? No, I want something very special. And if you do this for me, I promise to get Fisk out of your life and to keep Betsy safe. Better live up to that promise. Yeah, you better. Karen, you better watch your six. Yeah, <laughs> you've been ruffling feathers. What is going on with you two? Why weren't you at the office? It's not like we have any clients. Foggy. House of the Dragon, this is dim lighting that works. <laughs> yeah. I can see what's happening still. Found the Nelson Murdoch sign in the trash. You want to talk? Yeah. But I can't. But I can't. Karen, you need to be the relationship counselor between the two of them. <sighs> if you say it's complicated, I will punch you in the face. It's personal. They started tearing down Elena's tenement building today. Did you know that? No. Be nice if you and Matt could get your heads out of your asses and help do something about it before there is nothing left of Hell's Kitchen to fight for. Nice pep talk. Yeah. Uh, Matt, it's Karen. I just saw Foggy at Josie's. He's, um... Can you two please get your shit together? <laughs> I thought we were supposed to be a team, not, not whatever this is, okay? Yeah. Come on, boys. But can they have one bad day? Matt and Foggy are... I don't know what. They had some kind of fight, and now... I feel like it's falling apart, Ben. If Ben dies, I'm going to be so upset at Karen. Seriously. 
no, no. It's <gasps> ah! It's a simple question. Do you love this city? I haven't been here long enough. I'll be perfectly honest. The situation calls for it. I do not love this city. Maybe you should move. Uh, hmm. I'm not here because I want to be. I'm here because I'm needed. By Fisk? He loves this city. Almost, I suspect, as much as he loves his mother. He would be extremely disturbed if he knew you'd found her, even more so that you've been to see her. I'm here to offer you a job. <laughs> That's one way to recruit women. Just knock them out. You're going to convince Mr. Eurek that you were wrong, that Wilson Fisk is a good man. I mean, that was dumb. To just put it right in the middle. Do you really think I would put a loaded gun on the table where you could reach it? Do you really think this is the first time I've shot someone? Miss Page. Ooh! That's how Wesley gets taken out. Karen! <laughs> oh. Girl! Oh, Just grab, take the phone, take the phone! Okay, all right. Oh wait, yeah, maybe it's not a good idea to take the phone. Just leave it. Karen! Yeah, I didn't expect that, did you? That Karen is tenacious. Yo, what? I was like, I was wrong every step of the way. First I thought Yurik was gonna die first. Yeah. Then I thought Karen was gonna die. And then Karen murdered Wilson. Uh, uh Wesley. Wesley, Wil Wesley. Yeah. Karen murdered Wesley. Yeah. Shot him like eight times. Yeah. <laughs> Just unloaded the Glock. Yep. That was insane. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Like, what a turn for yeah. her character. I mean, she clearly will do whatever it takes mm -hmm. to survive. She's, I mean, I don't know. I'm like, is she a badass or is it just that she was scared and called his bluff and then was like, well, shit, I guess I shot him now. So yeah. may as well unload the rest of the clip. I thought that the first shot she was checking his bluff, but yeah. then she just kept going. Yeah. And maybe we've unlocked a new level of Karen, <laughs> but I was pretty sure, like she is tenacious. She is one of those characters that annoys me, but I like her because yeah. she keeps the plot moving. Yeah. But that was wild. Yeah, that was wild. I mean, we knew as soon as he was like, I have this job for you. I want you to tell everyone that. Yeah, there's that, no way. Yeah, there's no way. Like, oh, no one would believe her, first of all, because she was so tenacious in, in telling everyone like, oh, yeah, Fisk is evil. And she was the one that, you know, really investigated it really hard. And then to have her turn around and, and be fisk's cheerleader no one would believe that i don't know why he had it in his mind maybe it was like a test or something to see whether she would take the bait but like no yeah that, that was never gonna happen i feel like realistically he would have killed her but maybe he was afraid of yurik because yurik if he does write the right article yeah he could topple everything that they've built yeah yeah i mean it I guess a lot of decisions were made that were not fully thought out. Her going to see Fisk's mom set off like a chain reaction of things that happened. You know, mm -hmm. it's like, how how could you not think about the repercussions of what would happen if you actually talked to her? Yeah. Like, you just you were just counting on the fact that she would forget or that she wouldn't tell her son or someone that there was no CCTV mm -hmm. that they would never find out. I mean, in much the same way as I guess Fisk believed that he could just hide everything and erase everything and no one would find out. But, you know, these things happen like paper trails exist and people uncover your secrets nothing stays buried forever yeah that was really it was sloppy she's new she's a noob and she's yeah. gonna make mistakes this one is a fatal mistake quite literally 
But it was a, I thought it was a great episode. I, we were saying that last episode, these characters are in a crossroad. And yeah. I feel like that continues where the band's going to have to get back together because they can't. They're obviously not great when they're rogue. Yeah. Yeah. They we got Foggy it sleeping with exes. Yeah. Horrible be- bleach blonde exes. <laughs> we got Karen killing someone. Yeah. And uh, we have Daredevil finally getting a costume, which is exciting. Yeah. yeah. Nearly dying in the process. Yeah. But- I like that guy. That was a yeah. cool character. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah. Like, I, 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 I like how they kind of already gave us an idea as to who that character was because I think when we first met him they were kind of remarking about how he's not really bright but like he's really good at what he does Mm -hmm. and that's why they keep him around but to kind of see him really play that character and and you see it right away like the way he walks in and he's just really innocent he's just having his yahoo yeah it wasn't even a beer you know (laughs) it's a yahoo he just wanted his chocolate milk yeah and then and then he's just a really sweet guy you know he he also is trying to protect someone and it was nice to kind of see how how it started and how it ended up because Matt Murdock goes in there and he's all like intimidating and then nearly gets his ass handed to him. Yeah, he was strong. He was really strong. Like he lifted him up. His feet were like dangling. And then Gosh, and then at the cunt. end realizing that oh, this guy is actually he's he's just like a, a sweet Man. Fashion designer with a lot of talent. Yeah. And obvi- Betsy's taking care or Betsy's taking care of him. Yeah. Like she means something to him. Yeah. Um and he wants to He says to when I'm not feeling well. So yeah. he must have some sort of Well, I think it's also like she's there to help him kind of navigate life, right? Have we met Betsy? No, I don't Okay, think so. I was like No, but she's just kind of his his special person yeah. who who looks out for him and yeah he's a great character so yes we're gonna get that costume soon yay give me the fashion yeah we also had uh rosario dawson claire come Ugh. back in which was another really nice moment yeah but then he's gonna have to call her and be like hey i know you just left yeah but i reopened everything you just stitched up yeah sorry about that um, do you think maybe you could come back? <laughs> but I'm getting a costume this time. I have a uniform, so yeah. I'm not going to have this happen as much. No, she probably won't come back, but I hope his scra- his um, cuts are okay. Yeah. That he, that was like a formidable opponent moment. Yeah. In yeah. this condition. Like, he really should stop underestimating the people that he goes up against because he gets messed up up a lot which I appreciate for the show right like I I love when we have a hero that is vulnerable because Mm -hmm. like one of the issues that I've always had with Superman even though like I love Superman but I often get frustrated because he's so strong and so perfect and nothing can hurt him except for kryptonite, which is really hard to come by. And then you have someone like Daredevil who's fighting so hard for his city and for the people that he loves and in the meantime is getting beat up in the process. Like, I I do really appreciate that and I appreciate them showing that to us. Yeah, he's a different type. He's a different type of superhero. You're not used to this kind. (laughs) Kind of superhero. I really like him and we're on this journey where he's really advanced, but he also needs to figure out more strategy. Yeah. And I think he's figuring that out. Strategy included stepping up his attire and having a team. Yeah. Or people he can, one person at least he can confide in. Yeah. He needs friends. Yeah. Like he can't do it alone. And there was one thing from the last episode that I forgot to mention and it just popped up in my head, but I I do appreciate seeing the evolution of his character cuz Mm -hmm. I noticed that in the last episode when he talked about the first time he basically came out as Daredevil and beat up that guy who was uh, hurting his daughter, I noticed the detail of the fight, his fighting style being different from the fighting style that we're used to seeing him uh, employ now. Like it was much less acrobatic when he landed totally. off the off the train mm-hmm. it was like a heavier landing and and he was kind of going at him in more of like a straightforward boxing style whereas his current style is much more acrobatic and like infused with martial arts and all that and so i thought that that was a really cool thing 
uh, in the storytelling, using fight to tell the story and to tell us about the character that I, I just wanted to highlight because I think that's 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 just really cool fight direction yeah. when when you make it part of the character it's all like okay how does this character move how does the other character move because even in the scene with uh, Melvin and Daredevil like they both have their own very specific styles of moving like Melvin is all brute force um, and <laughs> Matt is just trying to get out of the way <laughs> doing his thing yeah. you know yeah <laughs> totally I love that and it just goes to how good the writing is you know yeah. they're not they're very detail oriented they're very. not skipping over things so if it there should have been a evolution in his fight style and then they included that yeah yeah i just love the attention to detail that they're employing in this show so ooh, next episode you guys if you haven't already please subscribe uh, click the bell icon for all notifications and upvote this video if you are enjoying being on this ride with us and we will catch you next time i'm achara kirk this is Steph Sabra. ciao